Okay guys, this is the AH1531 Ego 15 inch string trimmer rapid reload trimmer head. And this is an, you know, an aftermarket one that they provide or an upgraded one, I should say. Uh, it's Ego branded and I cannot tell you how wonderful it is. I just finished putting it on and it's, it's literally been sitting over there on my counter for probably five months. I just hadn't gotten into it and replaced it because it, you really have to be uh, you know, alone without somebody bothering you and you really have to kind of be in the mood to do these kind of things because it's always you need some kind of bolt that's not provided or tool or size socket or whatever. But this one was really actually easy. So this right here, let me show you the old one first. This is a standard one that comes in again. This is a, um, I think it's a PH uh, 1500 or 1400 and it's the dual mode. So it comes with, uh, you know, both the trimmer and the edger attachment that you can put on here. So this one right here is the most frustrating, annoying, <laughs> terrible design ever made. And um, you won't replace this immediately because it's constantly getting jammed up. It's very hard to reload. It doesn't bump out as it should. Um, and my 15 year old sons would constantly, um, as they were mowing about once every two weeks, they run out of string and we'd have to take 20 to 30 minutes to reload it. And then only I could uh, twist it back, twist the string back in so because it was so difficult. I bought a oil filter changer to actually be able to turn this dial so I could get everything in there because my hand strength got to a point where it wasn't enough. Held off on replacing this just because it was the end of the season and, you know, I just wanted to wait until it was closer. But this really wasn't that difficult. So basically the way it is, is this is a cover right here. This is the, well, this is the top right here. And then this is the cover that goes down like that. And then you have this spool right here. And let's see if I can do it. Uh, I think it goes like this. So this side goes down. Can't hardly do it with one hand. And then basically down in that hole right there, you have this little nut right here right here and that goes down in there over the thread so there's a, a threaded bolt in here and this goes down over that and then you use a 15 millimeter uh, long uh, socket and any kind of allen wrench or something like this to put in this hole so it has a hole right here that basically allows you to be able to you know lock it in place kind of like you would for a grinder or something so you can twist it off so to remove it it's backwards threaded so you'll turn righty righty tidy, righty loosey, and then lefty tidy, I guess. So that's all you gotta do. To take this off, you take this apart, find this bolt, get this down on the bolt, and then you remove it, and so it's off. Put this on just basically opposite. You tighten it down, um, and you put this head on, and guys, when I say that this thing is a sheer joy to load and to twist, uh, it bumps out very easily. It's, it holds more um, string, I think. I, I'm so looking forward to this, and it's the simple things in life, isn't it? Uh, but, but my sons are about to mow for the first time this season, and I uh, showed it to them, and they were just as excited as I was. So if you absolutely hate dealing with your power equipment, um, the little things like this make all the difference. So I uh, hope it works for you. I definitely recommend this. Uh, upgrade it today. Uh, you won't regret it, okay? So if you're looking for this, just check it out, and I appreciate you.